So the, uh, the background is um, we have a lot of raccoons and other animals back here at nighttime. Yeah. Some wood rats and all sorts of things. And um, Kyle was kind of afraid to come out here sometimes because he was like, oh man, that's a lot of... We set up a tent out here actually and they ran back in. <laughs> like at 9 o'clock they're like, there's a lot of sounds out there. <laughs> so I was like, how can we get him to, to be okay with those sounds? And so I thought, okay, I'll make up a story. So I um, made up a story like a long time ago. There was a little boy who was afraid of the night animals. And he would sit around and when uh, his parents were uh, ready to go to sleep, he would still, he would say, I'm going to tend the fire. I'm going to keep the fire going. Keep the fire going. And, and they said, well, it's time to go to sleep, son. He said, no, no, I'm going to keep the fire going. Son, it's time to go to sleep. No, no, I'm going to keep it going because I'm afraid of the night sounds. And then um, they mm. said, son, you're going to fall asleep. But all right, whatever, we're going to bed. So they went to bed. And he kept putting the fires on. But, you know, it started nodding off. Put something in, then he nod off a little more. Whoa. Yeah, there he's nodding off. <laughs> <laughs> and then he kind of nodded off. And then raccoon came by. And he usually came by because he liked the persimmons and they got ripe. Mm -hmm. And uh, he kind of looked at the boy in the fire and he said, it's a strange boy ran into the fire this late. He said, maybe he's cold. So the raccoon tended the fire for him for a bit. <laughs> and then he Son was about to come up and he decided, yeah, I'll put a little persimmon by the boy. And then he put a last stick in and he left. And then the parents got up. And the boy kind of got up right before the parents. And said, See, I kept the fire going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was proud of himself. But there was a persimmon there. And he thought, that was strange. I didn't get a persimmon. That's really nice. And then the next day, the same thing happened. He tended the fire. And, uh, Coyote came by. And the coyote really loved the apples. We had a big, really big open. And he saw the boy nodding off. And once the boy nodded off, he came by. He said, What a strange boy. Sitting around, keeping his fire going. He said, Oh, maybe he's cold. So, throwing some more firewood in there. And before the sun came up, he left an apple for the boy. The boy got up and he said, See, I made it! <laughs> his parents were like, wow, this boy hasn't slept for two nights. <laughs> and he kept doing this, and different animals left him, a, you know, a fruit from the, basically from one of our fruit trees. And then um, one day they decided, hey, let's have a celebration for you, boy. Wow, you're, you're really quite a brave boy, staying up for seven nights in a row without sleeping. <laughs> so they have this big celebration, and they're dancing around and singing, and then all of a sudden, the forest animals come in, the night animals, the possum, coyote, raccoon, and they all bring one of the fruits, and they all dance around. They don't say anything. They just give the fruit to the boy. And all of a sudden, the boy understands that mm. it really wasn't him. It was the night animals that kept him going through the night. Mm. So they all dance around and just enjoy the time. But the boy really learns to appreciate those night animals. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>